With us today is George Richards, Head of ESG Assurance and Reporting, and Tatiana hardy Starts, Senior Manager in our reporting team. So, uh, George, uh, firstly, why don't I start with you? What exactly is ESG Assurance? We get that question a lot, and let me give you an example. John from a real client conversation sure. I was talking to a FTSE 100 pharma company last week, and the client said to me, you know, George, what we're really trying to achieve uh, from our reporting externally is to get high quality data mm. that leads to high quality insights right. for us as a business and then for that to drive positive impact. Positive impact is what they're trying to do with their reporting and sitting behind that you need assurance because what you're saying externally needs to be robust and reliable right. and assurance provides a public opinion over what you're reporting. That's fantastic. But, but from a reporting perspective, uh, Tatiana, uh, there's so many different reporting requirements. There's no one size fits all. How are we helping clients with this? Yeah, so we're working with a wide variety of clients from the largest FTSE companies with global subsidiaries um, to small UK private companies. Mm -hmm. And they're all looking at maturing their ESG disclosures. Mm -hmm. And that could be within their annual report um, and really including material investor relevant information. But there's also talking to a broader stakeholder um, audience, whether that be your employees, communities. So we're supporting them in a wide range of areas and in lots of different reports. So there can be a lot of complexity there. So, so I, I hear the reporting requirements, however, George, um, but what opportunities exist for clients who want to go further um, in, in their reporting? I think, John, huge opportunities. I think for me, it boils down to three things. Firstly, opportunity to engage, mm. engage with your employees, mm. your customers, uh, with regulators mm. uh, and investors. Uh, secondly, there's an opportunity to really focus there's a lot going on with ESG reporting, yeah. and this is an opportunity to focus that story you're telling. And then thirdly, it's an opportunity to act, to actually do something as a business. Mm. So putting in proper systems and controls around the data, mm. uh, and then acting on what you're, what you're committing to externally. Fantastic. Engage, focus, act. I love yeah. that. And uh, Tatiana, what, what, um, maybe if you could just give us some key takeaways for clients who really want to go further and excel in this area. We've seen a real focus on climate and the E of ESG. Mm. And, you know, that's partly because of mandatory climate reporting requirements, but also because of, you know, COP26. But what we're seeing is a renewed focus on other topics like the S in ESG, whether that be, you know, privacy, cyber security, health and safety, employee wellbeing, diversity inclusion these are all really important factors that clients um, are needing to disclose more so the key takeaway would be use the momentum built by climate to focus on the broad range of ESG issues love that use the momentum uh, George key takeaways from your side for me it's around that you know there's a lot going on clients are overwhelmed mm. by the number of reporting requirements what do we have to do what should we be doing mm. what if we don't get it right mm. you know what are the legal implications those are the things that clients are worried about so key takeaway is mapping out that journey mm. You know, what do you want to tell? How do you want to tell your story? It's not easy getting the data. It's not easy complying with all these frameworks. But if you map that out, engage the board, get the right people responsible for the right things in the business, then you will be successful. Fantastic. Tatiana, George, thank you both very much.